Hi everyone, welcome to the 100 subscribers special. Thank you for watching all this time. And this is another easy variant from Brasica series on missingdeck.net. It's called Gentle Mist. I have some arrows here and standard one to nine have to appear in row, column, and three by three outlined region. So I'll start by, I bet three in three cells, they have to be three ones. Seven, therefore, can't be one, two, four. It can't be five, one, one. I think it must be two, three, two. This cell has to be a two, or a three, flanked by two on either end. Now, this can't be three, six, seven. It obviously can't be one. There's more than one digit. I'm left with two and, and two for the same reason. It has to be at least three, which it can't be. So I'm looking at four, five, eight, nine. Well, if it was four, then I'd have two, one, one. There's no way to do that with ones looking at all three of these cells. If it was five then I can't go higher than three, so I have three one one. And I think that's the only way to, or two two one. But again, since this can't include a one, this can't be five. So I'm looking at eight in three cells, which is hard. Six and two cells, it can't be double three because of this. It could be two four, but it can't be one five because this cell can be neither one nor five. So that must be a two four. This six, therefore, can't be double three. If it was four two, there's only one way around. Yeah, well, it can't be double three because of this. It can't be one five. This can't be one or five. And if it was two four, therefore it must be two four, and this cell can't be four, so it must be uh, two, so it can't be. Since this cell can't be two, that one must be. Okay, this is different. Okay, um, yeah, I don't know what this is. No, this could still be nine. Oofta. Uh, let's see. If this was eight, six one one doesn't work. A one three four could could work, but this can't be one or three, so it must be four, which means this would have to be one or three, and therefore doesn't work. So if this is eight, there's a repeat. Well, it could be one, two, five, but then this would have to be a five, and then one of those would have to be a one, and that doesn't work either. So at least two of those digits must be the same. I don't know which ones yet.
Now, this cell is at least 5, so that's at least a 1, which it can't be, because this would be a 6, which it can't be. This cannot be 2, therefore this can't be 7. I'm looking at 3, 8 here, or 4, 9 like that. Well, this can't be 9, so it must be 8, therefore that must be 3. See, this one can't be 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9. Or 1. It must be 5 or 6. Those can't be 1, 2, 4, 6, 7. Unfortunately, I have way too many options. at least a five. This can't be one or three. That was two. It has to be at least a three. Those aren't one, three, seven, or nine. This was two, those would be double one, which conflicts with that. Four. And, well, this can't be one or three, or two, so this can't be four. That cell was five. Well, this can't be one or four, or two, and therefore three, two, well, that doesn't work, so this has to be an eight. Means that's nine in three cells. Well, nine in three cells. Well, if that was six, then I'm left with two and one for those two, and neither of these cells can be two or one. This was five, and I'm left with two, two, which doesn't work with that. Or three one, neither of which were there because I've got those ones looking there, there, and there. That's a two. And those are going to be from four, five, and six. put my standard triple coloring. Since there's one. Oh, and those can't be nine, this can't be nine either. Okay, three nine must go here. That helps. These must be seven, eight in that order. Those are also from four, five, six. That's a triple in column one, which means this is eight. Therefore, that obviously can't be nine. 
three, that's nine. This has to be five to make the arrow work. Four, five actually makes this one a six. That's not. These are one and two. These are four and seven. In two cells. Well, it can't be double four because of this. Three, five. It only works one way. Two, six doesn't work because this can be neither two nor six, and one, seven doesn't work because this cell can be neither one nor seven. By elimination. End up in that configuration. Okay. Three can't go in one, therefore can't go in that one either. If this is six, that must be six. Okay, and it can't be eight either, so that's from one seven nine. Because unfortunately, it's still be just about anything. I've just said those two sixes force it there. And then these three are a triple. They are one, three, five. These one and three, so it must be five. For these are one and three. See, this sees one, two, three, five, six, eight. Well, that doesn't help much. I have more clues on this nine, I think. Nine, four plus two plus that has to be three. Back to this nine. One eight doesn't work. This is one and eight. Two seven goes only one way. This can't be three six because this cell can't be three or six two different ways. And since a 5 sees both of these cells, there's no place left for a 4. So I think we've just determined that one. 2 sorts out this one, too. This is that to be a 2. Anything useful here, but here, well, one plus it could still be one. Unfortunately, this can no longer be nine. Which means that can't be eight because eight plus one gives nine, and well, eight plus anything else is too big. And this obviously can't be nine for reasons that are even more self explanatory. <laughs> Being said, if this is seven, that has to be at least one or two, and that runs into a problem. So this is one. Simply by elimination. Okay, 
I'm just trying to point here for something. One can't go here, or here, or there. Yep, by crossing on ones, that's a one. Five, six, eight, nine, eight, two, three, four, and seven for row one, and that one sees everything but four. Oh, this is two, three, or seven. Well, it can't be two. If this was three, one plus, well, that has to be a two, which it can't be. So this can't be three, therefore it must be seven. Tells me where six goes. Two sixes for one of these two, but not here, so that's a six. Therefore, that's a six. And there's all my sixes. Two, three, four, six, seven. Okay, five, eight, nine. Well, this could be eight or nine. Indeed, so could that. The side of those cells are five. That one must be a five, which means that one's a five. This five finally sorts out the four five in column one. All right, I've got a triple left in those cells of row four. They are seven, eight, nine. Well, this one can only be nine. It's a seven, eight, and I know the order. That eight in column seven sorts out the nine eight to finish row two. Indeed, I end up with two three here, as I was hinting for a while. Oh, this has to be the other of four seven for box five, and the seven looks down. Nine goes here. To fill out the row. And theoretically, I should have enough to go on at this point. This is eight or nine, with an eye looking at it. This is four and seven. That has a seven looking at it. And I can't scan the digits right because there's a seven here. This is four and six. That's not right either. <laughs> or in nine, there we go. These two are five and not nine. Five and one. Okay, this is the other of one, three to fill out column seven with a three looking at it. Two three is gonna hold out until the end, huh? Anyway, these are two nine. These are four and eight. And this two finally sorts that. And then these two are three and seven, and voila. Aside from the fact that I couldn't type, it was relatively straightforward. Once I figured out that you could have repeat digits on arrow like this three in three cells, well, there's obviously only one way to do that. Which meant that the seven had to have a repeat because one, two, four didn't work. Since none of those cells could be one, and there's only one other way to do it. And then it was a matter of elimination on this pair and that one. <laughs>